All right, it's Quiet on the Set Magazine here with Tyler Lemon of the TV One original movie, Ringside. Ringside. Yes, it just premiered tonight. I enjoyed it. Oh, it's great. Good, it's great. Appreciate it's great. the support, bro. No problem. Sure. Tell us a little bit about your character in the movie. Man, you know, I, uh, I play Jackson Car I play uh, Jackson Howley. That's my character in the movie. And you know what? The story kind of chronicles Jackson's, um, you know, turmoil as he goes into the fight of his life. Uh, it's kind of a big balancing act, you know what I mean? And I think we can all empathize with this. You know, on one hand, he was thrust into being that caretaker for his family, a mystery sister, a wife, stealing a brother who was moving and drive for his money, a bunch of friends doing a nonsense type thing. You know, while he tries to, you know, fight for himself and what he needs, I think we can all empathize with that. Sometimes we need to, you're such a give, give, giver, it's hard to receive, you don't give to yourself. Right. So that dynamic, uh, weighing on him as he goes into a, a, a potentially life-altering bout. You know, you talk about the middleweight championship in the world. It's something you got to be laser focused with. So you know that whole that whole dynamic, man. It was it was fun to play. And that's really kind of the, syn the synopsis of what Jackson Holiday is. He did a great job of uh, merging that, that you know that inner struggle and that dichotomy. You. Thank you. Um, you played a boxer, so did you actually have to train a lot for this role? I did. Yeah, I played boxers. I actually did have to train a lot. You know what? I come from a boxing family. Um, but I was actually able to recruit my cousins, uh, Leon and Leroy at Zubike, uh, for the, uh, the, the stunt coordinators, the fight choreographers. So even though we all grew up in a boxing family, you know, we only had about three weeks to, to uh, get ready for this role. So everything just went from, you know, maybe a two or a three in terms of incorporating the box into our normal lives up to like a ten. You know what I mean? So the only thing that I did differently was uh, increase it. You know, not only to be able to get the cardiovascular, but to be able to like not throw a punch, but like walk and talk and move like the boxer. You know, Floyd Mayweather and Mike Tyson, they walk into the ring without even speaking or throwing punches, and they look the way they look. So you gotta get that full physicality and that full psychology down. So turning it up to 10 is basically what the, uh, what the biggest uh, tweak for me was. So it was very intense for you. Very intense, yeah, for those three weeks it was, yeah, yeah. So, we see you on the haves and have nots. Yes, sir. Um, when is that coming back and what can we expect from your character? Uh, so right now, season five is on right now. Currently, as we speak, I think we got two, two or three more uh, episodes until we come to this season's finale. Um, and then the new season will come back in, uh, in January. And basically, you know, where we're at right now in terms of where Benny, uh, Benny Young's character with that is, is like you're kind of seeing the flip side to the paradox of being the have and the have nots. You know, he started out as a have not, but you know, just like the Youngs do, and a lot of us can empathize with, you know what, if you stay faith based, you do the right thing, and you're working right by yourself and by other people, you can transcend some of them, some of them have nots, have not moments, if you will. So, where we're going right now with Benny is you're starting to see the flip side of that, and that, that introduces a whole new set of problems and how you're going to try to figure it out. So that's where we are right now. Okay. Yeah, we'll be watching it. I appreciate that. And we'll be watching the TV One film, Ringside. When does that air? It actually airs on, uh, on TV One, September 4th. It's uh, uh, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and if you don't catch that, there's actually an encore right after that at 9 p.m. So you'll be able to catch that now. Tyler Lepley, thank you so much.